Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. The sharpening filters in Photoshop all work very well, however many people prefer to sharpen their images using the high pass filter. They feel the smart sharpen or unsharpen mask filters, which are used more often, don't do as good of a job. So as they say, a picture's worth a thousand words, I'm going to show you the same image using each sharpening filter. You be the judge. We'll make a copy of the original image, so press Control J or Command J on a Mac. The first will be the High Pass Filter. Go to Filter, Other, and then High Pass. The High Pass window will open. You're going to want to start off with a very low radius value. As you drag to the right, you'll be adding more sharpening, but if you go too high, like you see here, you'll begin to see a halo effect around the edges of your image and you want to avoid that. You want to bring the slider to a point just before the halos begin. The only areas that have sharpening applied to them are the edges, which is exactly what you want. In order for the high pass filter to work, we have to change its blend mode. The three blend modes that are used in high pass are overlay, soft light, and hard light. The overlay blend mode, which is sort of the average amount of sharpening, is usually the preferred method. However, if you want to increase the sharpening amount, change the blend mode to hard light. And if you want to reduce the amount of sharpening, change the blend mode to soft light. Keep in mind, if any of these filters are too intense, you can always slide the opacity down. We'll use overlay for now. So this is our image with the high pass filter in the overlay blend mode. And this is the original photo without any filter. Again, this is with it and this is without it. Hopefully on your monitor you can see the difference. Let's see how Smart Sharpen works on this image. With the high pass filter hidden, click on the original background and press Control J or Command J on a Mac to make a copy of it. We'll rename this layer Smart Sharpen. Go to Filter, Sharpen, and Smart Sharpen. You can see the filter sharpening the image in the preview window every time I press on it. It's basically removing the Gaussian blur in the photo. The more you increase the pixel radius and percentage amount, the sharper the image seems to get. We'll hide the Smart Sharpen layer, click on the original image, and press Ctrl J or Command J on a Mac to duplicate the layer. We'll rename the layer Unsharp Mask. Go to Filter, Sharpen, and Unsharp Mask. Like Smart Sharpen, you can immediately see when I press on the preview window how it sharpens the image when the amount and the radius are increased. Let's rename our High Pass layer High Pass. So now let's compare our image using the three sharpening filters. The first will be Smart Sharpen. Even though this tutorial was done in HD, depending on the screen you're using, you may not see any difference at all as I switch from one filter to the other, but hopefully you can. So this is our image with the Smart Sharpen filter, and this is the Unsharp Mask filter, and this is the High Pass filter, and this is the original image with no filter at all. I'll show you one more time. Smart Sharpen, Unsharp Mask, and High Pass. To me, each filter may work better for one image than another. It's a good idea to try all filters the next time you're sharpening an image. And when you use the High Pass filter, try all three blend modes at various opacities to get a feel of the filter. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.